All right, guys. I'm trying to make this video and got interrupted a couple times, so let's try to get in. So I finally got my radiator installed and my transmission cooler. Got one line ran to the transmission. It's not the prettiest, but I really don't know where else to run the thing. I know the original ones poke through those two holes. You see, see a scratch right there. Somebody let a cat in the garage and got up on my car, so they scratched it. But I had to drill two holes in the radiator support there. Mounted the transmission cooler. I didn't want it mounted to the radiator. Some people do that. I don't like how it mounts through it. That's just not me. I don't like it. But um, this radiator was was made for a 65 Mustang because of the size of it. It is the same size. I guess it's the same size as the original, but the tanks are on the side instead of the top and bottom, which eliminates the original brackets to mount the radiator, so I had to make these brackets. I know it's not the best setup because it's got sheet metal screws, but it's got one on the bottom, one on the top. And I drew it down tight and put a piece of cork in there so it wouldn't rub and rattle. So, yeah, I mean, it's in there pretty snug. But it's not the best. But that's what I got. So it's what I put on there. I had these on there before. Just repainted them. So, and I finally got my coil. Got it hooked up. Not much else going on. Looks pretty good. I'm debating on painting the front of my radiator black. I don't know if that would affect the cooling or not, but if I would have paid attention a little bit, I would have welded, welded those holes shut where the original radiator mounted. But hey, maybe it's a good thing I didn't. Maybe I'll end up switching the radiator out later. I mean, I don't have a problem with this radiator, but if I had an original one, and I can mount it on there, and I can eliminate those brackets that I made and eliminate those sheet metal screws that I put in the car. But not much I can do about it. I got the bottom hose for the radiator. I don't have it hooked up. But in the years of this thing being torn apart, somehow I lost the top hose. And I remember this alternator being in this location before. That's why I put it there now. But getting a hose on here is going to be pretty tight. And I don't really know what to get one off of. I don't know if a 65 Mustang hose would actually work on here. Um, I don't know. If anybody can, can even look at what I'm looking at here. And the hose comes up over and over. It might have a slight bend in it right here to, to go around the alternator. But if anybody can look at that and see, like, hey, I'm, I know this one looks like this and it might work, just let me know. Because I really don't even know where to start looking at what kind of hoses would actually fit. Still, still need to get one of those little bypass hoses. I need to get a plug for the bottom, the bottom nipple right there, since I'm not running the heater. And I need to get a brass plug for this and take that nipple out, or just get a plug on the end of it, since I'm not running the heater. need to find the hold down clamp for my distributor. And um, I think I'm going to get me one of those caps that have a temperature, temperature gauge on top of it. I think this is, yeah, it's just an old, it's probably the original one, who knows. But that's the way to how the car sits. Progress is progress and didn't get too much done. I was chasing around trying to find those little brass fittings there for a couple days. Um, that line out of coming out of transmission is 5 sixteenths. And the nipples on the bottom of this cooler are 3 eighths. So I was trying to find a, a, a fitting that would go down from a 5 sixteenths to a 3 eighths. And I looked for two days everywhere around here that I could, and nobody had anything like that. So 
what I ended up doing is getting some fittings for 5 16 getting a 5 16 rubber hose I lubed it up a little bit put a hose clamp on it and slid it over to 3 8 nipples which was pretty tight but they went on my only worry is the hose deteriorating and cracking quickly around it was where it's tight and snug um, I don't know how long that'll be until it actually wants to crack on me so fingers crossed and hopefully it works for a while and we'll see how see what goes on if I have to replace it then I'll figure something out later but I think it's decent now but you know, that's about it I got my I only got my dipstick if you can see it dipstick pressed in um, I got my wires which I showed you last time and I had to put that end on that coil wire because the coil end was too big and it comes with all the fittings and everything but it's coming progress is coming slow but at least the radiator is in the only fluids in the car right now is the oil um, and I put some zinc additive in there for the, uh, the break in of the cam um, I still have no fluid in the rear end, no fluid in the transmission, no fru fluid in the brakes, and no fluid in the radiator. So there's probably $100 plus of fluid. But hopefully things go good and um, I can keep my motivation and I will get in here and hopefully get this thing fired up this month. Who knows? So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.